This is an NCRT question put in front of you. It says solve e raised to the power x plus e raised to the power minus x dy by dx is equal to e raised to the power x minus e raised to the power minus x. How to do this question? You have already understood the procedure for first order first degree differential equation. This is dy by dx means 1 degree only and 1 is the order. So let me take up x to the side where already x is there. So let me write solution and definitely we are not going to lag behind in solving such questions in the examination. So my dy by dx should be equal to e raised to the power x minus e raised to the power minus x upon e raised to the power x plus e raised to the power minus x. But this dy as a whole is not sufficient with dx being other side only this will be problematic if we do not integrate. So let's integrate, I am just placing this dx to the other side, so it becomes only your dy and this gives your dx. Now see, this is in y, this is in x, let's integrate both sides and you already know that e raised to the power x plus e raised to the power minus x, if substituted as t, the numerator is dt. So I write put e raised to the power x plus e raised to the power minus x as t. So, e raised to the power x minus e raised to the power minus x dx is equal to dt, right? dx is equal to dt. If this is your equation number 1, this is your equation number 2, this is your equation number 3, I write put my 2 and 3 in 1. So, put 2 and 3 in 1. What is the further solution? dy integration is y. The numerator is dt, denominator is t. So, dt upon t. Right? You understood this? Hope so. Now, I will write log t, either y, this side y, plus c. Now, log mod t, what was t? t was e raised to the power x plus e raised to the power minus x. So, definitely, my answer will be y is equal to log e raised to the power x plus e raised to the power minus x plus c. What you can do is either you can just leave it like this or what else you can do is some people do not write it in the same line but to the next line. We didn't have space so we wrote in the same line. So this is your answer to this question and this is how you are going to solve such kind of a question.